Hello! Uh, this is Ari from the future. Um, <laughs> I'm giving y'all a little update. Uh, so I meant to start Fire Punch week last week uh, on March 1st, but that did not happen because I'm not uploading this on March 1st. Um, I got some like really unfortunate news about a family member passing and it was kind of like rough. So I just like took that time for myself. Uh, but I'm good now. <laughs> I'm in a better headspace. It's all great. So now, this week, which is the tomorrow week of the 7th, 6th, I don't know the dates, whatever, um, we're gonna be going through Fire Punch week. And then we'll be starting everything all over again with Bullock week. Very excited. All right, cool. Go to Aryan Past. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. It is time for another Let's Read. <sighs> we're reading. Fire punch. <laughs> it is fire punch week. I feel like <laughs> I feel like this series gets me every time. And I think I'm just gonna stop jinxing myself. I think I'm just going to let it be whatever happens, happens. Let's just get it started. Oh. Alright, chapter 13 is where we've left off. I have no words. <laughs> okay. Uh, camera girl, I'm gonna start acting. Make sure you were like, oh, Togata. <laughs> Yo, a fucking goat. I can't. All right. What do you want? Um, you don't have your artificial skulls anymore, so you're nothing now. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, she just fell a fuck over. Oh, this is wild. It is, is, oh, oh! <gasps> I'm gonna throw her in the ocean to kill her. What? She said all those mean things to you. She's a total buzzfield. We gotta ax her. Don't. Why not? It's not like she's sister. It doesn't matter. Just don't do it. Too late. But if you'll catch me, I'll stop. You're crazy. Idiot. Wait. <laughs> here he comes. Hey, get back here. Who is this chick? Oh my god. <laughs> it's evaporating away. Hey, I'll kill you. Come on. I saved you. You... Oh, oh, what is this is, oh shit. What is happening right now? Those two are nuts. It looks like they're frolicking in the ocean, but they're not. <laughs> hey, give Luna to me, give it back. It's not Luna, it's Judah. I know that, now give it back. Fine, catch. Uh, my flames are too dangerous. You have to go in and get Luna for me. Not Luna, Judah. <laughs> Yo, this man, just let him have this one thing. <laughs> But <laughs> why is why is Tokata looking at him like that? This is so weird. She could be Luna. Maybe there's a blessed that brings people back from the dead, and then Luna would be alive again. She doesn't remember anything, but she could be Luna because because oh my God, this man. She has her face. There are no blessed who can be bring back from the dead. Though people in this day and age do think of blessed blessings as miracles and magic. She has her hair too, her hair. If your little sister was alive, would she, you quit seeking revenge, right? Is that what you want? Is this all your anger amounts to? Oh, fuck. This is crazy. <laughs> you just, yo, to got to such an instigator. The man who killed Luna is still alive. I can't even lay a finger on Doma. And he had the gall to apologize to me. <laughs> he said he would do anything except die. Anything I wanted except die. He's making a mockery of Luna and me. All I want is for him to die. And there he is thinking he has the right to live. I'm gonna kill him. Alright, I've heard you. So let's make a deal. I've been alive. I've been alive for 300 years. Whoa. Thanks to my power of generation, I'm strong. The reason you're not only ahead right now is because I killed all the soldiers who have been keeping you captive. Not bad, right? And I've got 300 years worth of knowledge. I'll make it so you're able to kill Doma by your own hand. When you return, you have to let me film your progress up to that moment. Oh, this is insane! The little fucking lump so God is willing to go to film a movie. Like, this doesn't even make any sense. Film? Until you kill Doma, I'll be your shadow. I'll direct and you kill. You listen to what I've asked you, then you kill him. Got it. 
I'll be the director, you be the hero. She'll take care of the camera work and Tomo will be the villain. Luna, I mean Judah, what about Judah? I'll save her. It's important for the actor and director to get along. All right, I'll be your hero. This is so weird. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? This is so fucking weird. All right, let's go, chapter 14. She yeah, she's, oh, Togata actually saved her, wow. Good morning. Cold. <laughs> these are soldiers. These are soldiers. These are the clothes <laughs> from a soldier I killed. You must be cold, so I'll give them to you. No need to thank me. Take the tunnel back to the nation you came from. While you walk, I want you to think about your own stupidity. <laughs> killed you on the train you should have gone back to your nation asked for backup now you're alone and can't do anything can't do a lick about fire man did you really think he wait <laughs> did you really think he could convince him with words you have your own you have to work on your imagination <laughs> Okay, now get going. Don't you dare look back. Not until you left the tunnel. What the fuck? Oh god, though. You're late. <laughs> I'm freezing. Give me a sweater. Mm. Everybody listen up. We're heading back to base camp now. There we'll prepare for killing Doma. Hey, hero, you can't ride in the car, so you're walking with me. What good will it do going to your base camp? Oh, what, will, what good will going to your base camp do? Why can't I just kill Doma right now? Did you burn your brain too? <laughs> if you're serious about getting revenge, then cool your head. Enemy is many. We're just two people. Besides, we don't even know where Doma is. Plus, you're not strong enough. You're still not strong enough, so we need to prepare you. Um, excuse me, I think your battery is running low. <laughs> Seriously? What do you mean prepare me? Prepare, as in prepare. <laughs> can you get in, can I get in the car? Don't ask a bitch for every little thing. Hop in if you want. Hey, what is preparing myself gonna entail? I'll talk about it later. Uh, it says the battery's gonna die. What kind of preparation do I need in order to kill Doma? Shut up already. Blah, blah, blah. You're killing the base here. We need to keep things moving, <laughs> moving for a, in a forward direction. I'll explain. Yada, yada. <laughs> what are you talking about? The hero listens and agrees. We're walking to my base camp. We'll cut the scene of us walking hours across the long distance. And we're here. <laughs> I'll add a heavy bass sound to make it impressive. <laughs> not so got the fucking mimicking everything. I cannot. We're arrived at my base camp. It's an abandoned village with nobody in it. How do you like that? Really picks up the pace. You are so dumb. You, I've got a name, you know. You call me director. Hey, director. What is it, fireman? I'm gonna, how am I going to prepare myself to kill Doma? We're going to give you an upgrade. Okay. With the way you are now, you can't go to Behemadorg. I think it's the first time I've ever said that. <laughs> You're completely naked and on fire, so you bring attention to yourself. Your embers could go anywhere, so it's dangerous. In order to contain your flames, I'm going to make you clothes you can wear. Oh, okay. Does such a thing exist? When you were just ahead, you were wrapped in something called fireproof cloth. It, but it was a cheap knockoff. Real fireproof cloth is a... In, Wait, fi real fireproof cloth is a kind of material made for going into space. A space suit. Oh my god. Togata's so gonna make him into an astronaut. <laughs> for some reason, there was a ton of space suits under this here factory, so I'll make you an outfit out of that. Can't go on walking naked forever. What's space? I'll explain later. Actually, I'm gonna teach you martial arts. Uh, there aren't that many martial artists left martial arts left in the world the least you can do is learn them to overpower your enemy i'll give you clothes and fighting skills in exchange what i want from you is canned food oh my god wonderful good fine if we will die if we don't eat camera girl it's it's nanetto <laughs> my apologies i'm dax he's neodera i hope i said that right what kind of deal did you make with togata what what we why can't i read we do whatever she tells us in exchange for her protection outside of, uh, from outside enemies. Oh, okay. Outside enemies from Behemadorg and other bad people. Sounds like me. <laughs> I found more. Wonderful. Where I live, men's orders are absolute. 
when I turned 13, I was to start having babies. Oh my god, that's fucking. Oh, I remember those chapters. Oh, I can't. <gasps> I just realized what happened to Sun. Sun? Sun. Oh my god, I just remembered about that child. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, I'm not gonna focus on that right now. In the, my village, that was common sense, but it never made any sense to me, so I ran away. But on the run, I got captured by Behemadorg. That's where Togata to saved me. Oh, even more. I want to live in a way that makes sense for me. That's a wonderful goal. We are men who are in love with each other. <gasps> Gaze! <laughs> yes! The queer representation! We love it! Oh my god. Um, okay. <laughs> I love this. We used to live in Behem Behemadorg, but homosexuality is not accepted there, so we also ran away. Popular opinion can be a scary thing. All people have their own individual principles and positions, but the mob mentality happens. Popular opinion trumps all. Those who don't want to swallow popular opinion either run away as we did or have no choice but to act, though they swallow the popular opinion too. Oh, that whole statement, that was some deep shit. Like, that's so accurate. That's so true to like regular society. Hmm? Okay, I see your political commentary, Fujibato. <laughs> act? Yep, act. I'm gonna have you act for me. This way people understand the story, your story, so it has that cathartic effect on them. Um, there are a number of scenes with the hero that I want to film, but first, the scene where he thinks about the villain and erupts in rage. It's a scene that will make the audience understand just how much this hero loved his sister. A scene where we get to see the hero's weakness. Wait, act? You mean I have to act? That's right, the fact you're gonna have, you're gonna be on, you're going to have a camera on you turn 24 seven uh, constantly, so I want you to act. Oh, I know, act like a person whose body and heart are burning with revenge. We'll have to make your motivation as easy as possible. As easy to follow as possible. We'll take a stance at nothing but revenge matters at point. Oh my God. We'll communicate how sometimes the sheer pain of your burning body makes you hallucinate your little sister without your ass of realism. You can't be serious. I would never act out something like that. Naughty, naughty, the act to direct these orders are absolute. <laughs> See if I care. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> do you know Sun? Sun says you're a god. I know you're not, but you're Sun's guardian, you know? Aren't you worried about him? His legs got cut off by a pervert. Yes, that's right. Oh my god. Don't you want to? Go help him or something? No, I don't. I don't care at all. He's so cold. Nice irony there. <laughs> guy who's call <laughs> calling a guy who's on fire cold. It's a good one. Thank you. Togata, call me director. Fireman, where are you going? My name isn't Fireman, it's Agni. You're running away. Is all this thirst for men amounts to? Shut up. <laughs> you can't stand the pain of the flames, but you can't act. Is this what this is? Be quiet already. You said you do anything about Kettling Doma. What? No, I didn't. Oh, are you sure you didn't? Yeah, I'm sure. But you did. <laughs> I did it. Oh my God. It's so childish. You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. I'll do anything if it means killing Doma. And cut. Your acting stinks, by the way. On second thought, I guess you don't have to say I'll do anything, whatever it takes to kill Doma. Let's go with that instead. Fine. Oh my fucking God. He's actually doing it. Action. Good. Now clench a fist full of snow. Whatever. <laughs> this is so funny. I don't know why this is so hilarious. Whatever. <laughs> why is he complying with Togata? This is so fucking weird. Okay, let's go to the next gym. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot. This is so funny. Oh, okay, we're back in the city. Please, please be son. Son, son. I'm gonna say son. Mm. Son, this will be your, starting today, this will be your new home. Oh my God. He doesn't have legs. This is fucking ridiculous. Oh my God. What the fuck is going on? Here we have Blessu's really starchy body fluids. 
it's thanks to them that people don't starve. Over there, the blessed who produce fire, we convert that into heat energy. Next to them are the blessed who release iron. I'm generalizing as everyone releases different variety and concentration. There are too many of us too, but the ones that are blessed like you, son. He can also produce electricity. There aren't many electric blessed types. Every person here is precious firewood that supports Behemadu. Oh my fucking God. Without firewood, the fire would go out and people would freeze to death. Now on, you will be firewood too, son. Oh my God. But I want you to rest at ease. We'll be feeding you a constant supply of nutrients through this tube so you don't die. As long as you don't get sick, you should arrive to the age of 30. Oh my God. Well, I'll be leaving now. What? You cannot be serious. I was the only one producing electricity all this time. Perhaps now my woke oracle will lighten a little bit. What's going to happen to me? How cruel to think that a child be through this. Oh Lord, please bestow your flame of mercy onto this child. Oh my God, please no, 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 no. They're feeding us something painful through the tubes in our necks and it brings all our blessing out of us. This pain is something you won't get used to, but it's okay. Someday we'll die and the pain will go away. Oh my fucking God. What the fuck? My body hurt like it was on fire. When I awoke from extraordinary pain, my first day began. Oh my God. The all day crying of voices. Oh my God, that's fucking miserable. The people came in midday to take the way our waste. We knew our half our day was halfway over. The only time I didn't hear was for four hours when we slept. What? Whenever I'm about to fall asleep, I have a vision, a vision of God coming to my sleeping form and shooting me right in the head with a gun. What? And then I die and go to sweet, warm heaven. What the fuck? That'd be the best. How nice. I've had that vision before. Oh my God, this is insane. Mr. Agnes' hands are on fire so he can't carry a gun. There he goes again. Talking about Mr. Addy, someone shut that kid up. Someone getting tired of that story, it's all tired of it. Mr. Agnes is God, he's going to rescue me from this place. Why would a God like Mr. Agnes come to the shithole and save you? No reason, but if I ask, he'll come and save me because he's a God. <laughs> You're lying, guys like him don't exist. I can understand if he did in exchange for your li Oh my God, what the fuck? I'm not lying, he really does exist. We should go to sleep. Yeah, do you hear yourself? You don't have any legs, you can't move. So you should, why should he save you? But Mr. Agnew will come, stop with the delusions. We're this is in fucking sane. First of all, how many fucking people are in this bro? I can't, this is so weird. This is very, this is, this reminds me of Promise Neverland, like a lot. Oh shit, is that a spoiler? Ah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, they didn't put it in the anime anyway, but what the fuck? They're going to use us up till we die. No one's going to confront Behemador to save us. All we can do is hope here and wait for death. Oh my god. I'm not fire. None of us are. We're people. When I was captured by Behemador, all I'd given up all hope. My body was mine was freezing, my body was stiff and cold. I was carrying like a piece of cargo. I thought all the way you do now, there's no hope for me, but then I was about to be shot. I prayed to God. And a man whose entire body was on fire walked up to me, and that was Mr. Agni. A blessed one whose entire body in flames. Keep it down, I can't go to sleep! Yo! Mr. Agni protected me, and his gunfire hit him and said, No, he was bleeding. He fell down, he got right back up again. He clenched his fist and fought. You know, I don't have legs. My body will hurt tomorrow like it's on fire. I think of Mr. Agni and how his body was torn apart again and again, but he's and literally on fire, but still he got back up and fought. He was suffering from so much more pain than us. Right now we have to deal with this, but it's like, okay, if we pray to Mr. Agni someday, he'll come save us. Because Mr. Agni is a god. Sorry, I'll go to sleep now. You got any other stories about him? I wanna hear, oh my god. How the fuck, how the fuck does son do this shit? Like, it just somehow gets everyone inspired. Like, I don't get it. Is it like the childish innocence? Like, okay, please tell us another one. Even if it's not true, I wanna hear it. But I'm tired. Mr. Agni never sleeps. Because he's a god, he doesn't have to, and that's not all. Uh, what the fuck? Bring the camera. You have 40 seconds. Does it hurt too much to sleep? I can never do what you do. Learning through all the pain of being burned alive. I hate dealing with that stuff. 
Go now, I'm fine. No, when the camera is here, I'm gonna record you, so scream like you did once before, it's fascinating. You remember, you said you do anything. Oh, you killed them no matter what, remember? I know that. Do you have any way to ease the pain? When I'm thinking about something, it hurts a little less. After you finish screaming the camera, let's do some studying, you and I. It'll lessen the pain. I know, I got the thing. Let's study English. What? Yo, so got to know English? This is so wild. I mean, okay, yeah, it said she was alive for 300 years. In English? No, English. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, on to the next chapter. Wow, this is this is a whole different turn. This is very interesting. Also, I pray to God <laughs> that fucking son gets rescued because I cannot. I can't witness this any longer. Like, <sighs> I should have become emotionally attached. Fuck. Okay, we're on 16. Oh, oh, okay. She's training him. Uh, rule number one for finding is as a regenerative bless. No matter what, protect your head. Once your head is gone, you can't think and regeneration takes longer. Alternatively, so as long as you keep your head, you can always regenerate your arms and legs. Now that you know that, try to defeat me. I'm wearing fireproof clothing, so it'll be fine. P <laughs> Why? Why is Ogata teaching them useless words in English like penis? What does it mean? A <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? What? Oh shit! You cut through her whole fucking arm trying to focus. Concentrate when I'm con okay. Number two, find as a regenerative blast. It's focused on your concentration. A certain part you want to regenerate, you can speed up the process. Once you have a strong regenerative ability, fireman, you should remember that. <gasps> Why are they doing this? Is there any point to this? It hurts less when you learn about something. Well, learn English. You'll be able to enjoy American movies. First, tell me what that means. So rule number three. Run until your joints give out. You'll regenerate right away. And even do that, you'll get even faster. Fuck shit. <laughs> Rule number four. If enemy has a gun, approach, crouch down like this. Or... <laughs> this is so weird. Bullets are surprisingly easy if you just avoid them and keep an eye. It's in a movie called The Matrix. Oh my god. <laughs> the dichotomy of Dugata teaching... Uh, uh, I need all these like fucked up words and then like t actually teaching him like valuable lessons is so weird. You throw a knife like this. There are lots of ways to use a <laughs> Use your elbows like this. Can you, what the fuck? Avoid these, come on. I bet, <laughs> this is so wild. A firework. <laughs> Take that and that. Oh my god. Day after tomorrow, we're gonna kill Doma. I made a suit for you and I bought you a basic trace of basic basic fighting. It's finally come. It has. Look into the camera. Right into it. Say it with determination. Like you have you you mean to have revenge. As long as I can kill Doma, I don't care about anything. Also, I'll do whatever it takes. Why Togata? I mean director. Why film me? I'm not very interesting. I think it'd be more interesting if you shot the film where you're the hero. I never say anything interesting and I can fight like, I can't fight like you do. All I do is get mad. A fire goes without firewood. People are the same way. You can't keep going without the fuel to live. That was a line from a movie. I don't remember which one though. <laughs> Regenerative blasts can live for a long time. And they can last and they can last a long time and starvation doesn't affect them. In this cold world, they are the strongest things. But the longer they live, the more apathetic they become. A lot of them commit suicide around the age of 100. I don't know why though. The reason I've been able to live for 300 years is thanks to movies. Movies are incredible. They tell all sorts of stories. You meet all kinds of characters. Anything can happen in them. A black man can be killed due to discrimination. A life can go down the drug, the drain with the drugs. Someone can shoot their own child to death. What the fuck? Anything goes. Oh, as long as it's interesting, anything goes in movies. Movies are interesting, but recently, no matter how many times I try to rewatch them, they don't conjure any emotion in me. Plus the fact that they've already been burned. <laughs> But for me, seeing and meeting you got my heart pounding and excited for the first time in a long time. Your face, body, weakness, everything, I've fallen for them. Since it's my movie, I made the person I fell for the main character. That's why you're the hero. I see, okay. What, oh, that's um, what's her name? Judah. Try to move your hand. Does your artificial skeleton feel off in any way? I wanna smoke, go right ahead. Why are there so many fucking plants? Like what? Did you see my little brother during his last moments? Oh, I'm sorry. 
Rumor has it that Ivan and Simon were killed by the Flaming Man too. People were afraid that he had moral heroes or dead. They're raising their voices in anger demand to know who's responsible. Jack, Judah, what is it? I wasn't the courier, but there's a crazy person mixed in with the latest shipment of slaves. Oh, fuck! Woo! What is happening? Someone's been shot in the head and died. How terrible. <laughs> Why you still got the best character? I swear. That's the person who killed Ivan and Simon. What? Yep, I'm the person. <laughs> now I have a proposal. Let's kill all the firemen together. Let's all kill the fireman together? What? Okay, let me see. <laughs> let me read a couple more job days. This is fucking insane. This whole, this whole thing is wild. All right. Tomorrow morning, fireman and I will be coming to the Hemidork. You in this country, everyone in this country will be burned to death by flames that may never extinguish. Just a building care so tactically tied together, the flames will surely spread, burning everything to the ground. But it's okay. Tomorrow morning, him in, here in Behemadork, I'll help you kill Fireman. I'll alert Fireman to designate a spot so Doma can kill him. You! <laughs> oh, another thing. Let me see Doma. Where is he? Doma! <laughs> oh, if you try to kill me, this is what will happen. I set up bombs all over the country. I just detonated one in a building with nobody in it, so no one's been hurt, probably. If you try to kill me or disobey me, <laughs> like that. Jack, she's not right in the head. Don't do anything and try and just do what she says. You, whose little brother I killed, for the sake of your people, people's safety, work with your soldiers to track down all the bombs. I'm sure it won't take you more than half a day, so I'll be, and then during that time, I'll be going home. Luna, I mean, you who looks like Fireman's little sister, Bring me to see Doma. Let me out, Judah. What the fuck is going on? Ju oh my God. This is the hero's arch nemesis. This is Doma. I want to go back. Let me go. What the fuck is going on? Isn't Doma supposed to be the super evil guy who sticks his tongue out and laughs? The kind who's always raping women? Doma was just a man who, who lived justly. He made schools and taught classes. He's got no appeal as an arch nemesis. Oh my God. Sickness. His soul reduced him to this. Even if a fireman kills this guy, it won't bring anyone catharsis. Oh my God. It won't bring closure to have his good nature. Crazy bearded old guy killed. He burned out before the hero could burn him. Okay, this is so cool. My entire movie is a waste of time now. It's all that bearded geezer's fault. I didn't do anything wrong. Now who will kill fireman? I will. That's so sweet, but I want him to be killed by a more impressive blast. You killed all the other capable fighters. Ivan and Simon too. Oh, come on, don't blame me. Aren't there any other blessed lying around somewhere? We keep particularly dangerous blessed below. If you can keep a tight rein on them, I'm sure they'll kill Fireman. This is insane. First, have these dangerous blessed expel all these explosives. Second, if they disobey orders, get them to listen to you by threatening them with detonating the bombs. Here's the detonator. Third, have them kill Fireman. That's all. How serious about how are you? How serious are you about all this? I don't get what's going through your head. Fireman is your friend, isn't he? You don't have to worry about that at all. If you just do what I say, you'll be able to kill Fireman, no problem. Don't worry, I really do want Fireman killed. I'm filling the movie. There's just one problem. Once Fireman kills Doma and he has his revenge, it won't be interesting anymore. It'll become a super boring story. It's interesting. It's not interesting unless you have the guy lose and suffer before winning in the end. I'm sure Fireman suffered a whole a lot, but I didn't capture any of it on tape, so it has no meaning. I love Fireman. So what I, I wanted to film him when he's failing and suffering, that makes it way more interesting. Yo, Togata is fucking psychotic. This is insane. We're here, but here are the blessed that were too much for me or Simon to handle. In Behemadoric, if you were to be found a blessed, you were made into firewood or executed for the fear that you will harm people of the nation. These are the latter condemned criminals who were powerfully blessed. Oh my god okay let me see if i can get to 20. i just like this is this is this dida what the fuck he killed several women who weren't slaves as well as 30 soldiers holy shit he possesses the he possesses the blessing of making his muscles stronger nice and simple he's hired kalu he can manipulate the wind so he can fly what 
he shaved the faces of 17 children just for fun. Wow, harsh. He's hired. Fu Fuga Itai? Itai? I don't know how to say his name. Sorry. <clears throat> A blesser could manipulate all iron within his field of vision. Holy shit. He could hunt your souls in an attempt to take Behemador. Sounds strong. Hired. Don't kill the, the ones I've hired. Have them fight firemen tomorrow instead. Oh, another thing. Let's make one of them be Doma. They'll die the moment the fireman's flames touch them. How are they supposed to fight him? Don't worry, we're gonna upgrade all of them. Oh my god. You moved the you guys you moved into the old ruins of the old city, but him and the first guy's name 150 years ago, right? I used to live here 200 years ago myself. So I may just be a smidge more familiar than with you are. It's just a wall. Wait and watch. Um Aloha Mora! Oh my god, everything is truly a movie reference. Holy shit, it's very bothering. Surprised? Or not. This is my secret hiding out 200 years ago. It's got a ton of old world weaponry and study stuff and I've collected out of interest. Wow, it's almost all broken. Look, over here, this way. Aw, oh, score, we'll take this and this too. But this isn't broken. What is it, a power suit they used in the old days? If you wear this, Fireman's Flames won't affect you. I'll make you, it'll make you super strong. Put this on one of those guys. Why do you have something like this? Because I lived a long life. You, how much do you know about this world? A good amount. I know that you're fighting an imaginary enemy called an ice witch. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> imaginary enemy? Wait, so it's not... I'm so confused. Wait, and Behemoth's king has been elevated to a god. It must be hard keeping up the act of there being a non-existent enemy and a non-existent king. What? Making a common enemy that's easy to comprehend will be leading the people like organized religion would be a, is a good idea. In this world without education, everybody would believe it easily enough, even if you revealed the truth that the world has simply entered an ice age. Oh, this is wild. So you're telling me this is just fucking human evolution? <laughs> this, this. This is very interesting. Okay, I like your lie. It's interesting. So tell me, how much longer can mankind survive in this world? How much longer do I have to keep acting? Temperatures only continue to drop and spring never comes. So I'd say another 20 or so years before humanity is completely screwed. If I can complete my movie by then, I don't care. Well, my business is done, so I'm gonna go home. <laughs> you gotta get me on my way back. I'm going out with a bang. See you, Miss Religious Leader. Tomorrow's gonna be awesome. Oh my god, what? <sighs> Should I read? Yeah. I'm just go I'm gonna just go to, to to 20. It's fine. Oh I'm on volume three. Okay. Um Okay. These are my treasures. Those are cigarettes made in my hometown. Like oh, I smoke them. This is my room. I can't say it's mine, it's just a room I claim for myself. Me. This is my camera. I got this clunky thing from Miss Togata. She told me to keep filming no matter what, but she's nowhere to be found today. That's Fireman. He's been outside. He's outside being naked and on fire. Well, he just looked at me. Are you in pain? I'm bored. Do you have a book on English, right? Teach me something. Cold. That means cold. <laughs> Snow. Fire. Punch. Psych. I lied. It means punch. It was a joke. <laughs> I've lied, there's a lot of things. Like what? Like what? Fireman? Fireman? Get your head out of the clouds. Right. Behemoduric. Oh, wow, okay. Mmm! This is so good! What is happening? What is this suit? What this metal arm? It's hard to move around these clothes and I feel like an idiot. Director, director. You know, with those clothes, you'll spread your fire all over the place. Me and her will end up toast. That's how you look even stupider naked when we sneak in, put your hood up. You know where Doma is? Of course I do. You don't have to worry about anything. This is the back route that'll take us to where Dor Doma is in Behemador. We'll be passing where they keep the slaves locked up to. Whatever you do, do not touch their cells. If you do, it'll sound an alarm and Doma will get away. Got it. Hurry up. I'll be able to die. Oh God, the strong this time I'll be able to kill Doma for sure. And once I do, I have no further reason to live. This is about to be so fucking crazy. What the fuck? Is that what the, is that what they were talking about? Where the fuck did 
gotta get a mech suit from? I I don't even have words. The flaming man will show up soon. You are to cut off his head and incapacitate him. Sounds like the flaming guy's gonna die. Now we can sleep in peace. That's so why she go to hell. He should be die. He should die buried in snow. Keep him alive using his firewood for the rest of his life. If you're successful, you'll be free men. If you fail, we'll detonate the explosives inside of you. Really think the Burning Man will come here? It's possible there's still bombs left within our borders. Either way, we'll be deploying soldiers already all over the region. Finally, the pain will end. The pain for my burning body, my hatred, my sadness, this stupid farce. When you kill him, be sure not to let him anywhere near the buildings, but if possible, kill him so long so the people of Bahamador can watch. There's significance in having him die in front of the masses. You really think they'll set us free if we kill the Burning Man? I don't know. I'll just be happy if I could- Oh my god, kill it. Rape someone. What the fuck? It's apparent to me that after the code, they'll kill us. The only way we'll live will neutralize both Avery and Judah. This way. You ready in? Climb the stairs. Mom and Dad. And Luna too. You may bear all the others. Oh. If I die, it'll all be over. I finally get to see them. Oh. No. No. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't you fucking do it! Oh my god. What are you stopping for? Whoa! Wait! Is he on fire too? Oh shit! What is happening? I- Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I'll have you know there's no point in saving the slaves. You can do whatever you want after you've killed Doma. For all I think, I've been having visions. Oh, is that him? Oh, I think he was seeing himself. I was so confused. I was like, what? I fly about a lot of things. I didn't want to see my little sister wearing, so I tell her it didn't hurt to have my arm cut off. Um, if I've only ever seen Frozen Rivers, I lied and said I swam mom before because I wanted to see her smile. I was a good actor. Whatever it takes to kill Doma. Doma said they're gonna defeat the Ice Witch. I thought that was so cool. When I was burning at Doma's hand, I hated it, but I thought how that's how it had to be because the village that eats human flesh is crazy. So he told me to live. That was Luna's final wish, but there was no way I could grant it. Luna, alive and happy, is what kept me going. Oh my god. If I wanted to keep fueling myself, I had to make Doma's wretched death that fuel. What are you standing out and zoning out for? Fireman, oh my god, dude, this is not the time! In the end, all I could do was pretend to be an Avenger so I could live. I know if I kill Doma, Luna won't come back. I hated him to distract myself from the pain. Eventually, I forgot I was acting. Who was the real me? I thought it was a bad guy I should die, but I hate to see someone die. I couldn't forgive the bad deeds or her death happening around me. That was just my own version of being just. What are you doing? What do you want to do? Oh my god, it's having a fucking existential crisis! <laughs> this is insane! I want to save them. You want to save them? Oh my god. Is so the character? Why? Because I want to save them. Oh my god. I want to... Because... I don't want... Oh my god. This world to beat me. Fireman. Agni. Fuck! Dude! Dude! Oh my god, this is gonna be so fucking chaotic. That's a slave seller alarm. It might be the burning man. That's not that far. I'll send the New York soldiers there. You guys gonna beat them. What are you doing, you idiot? You can escape going that way. Run for it. Don't stand there gawking. Get away from here. There are still slaves down below. My little brother. Okay. What are you doing? You plan on throwing a whole plan out the window? If you save the slaves, it'll dilute your rage towards Dona. Shut up. I'm done. This isn't some story you've conjured up. I'm deciding my own story. Oh, now he wants to have free will and autonomy. I cannot. Don't talk back to me. I'll kill you. I'm the director. Hey, don't film this. If you kill me, I'll put you in the ground. Oh, yeah. Will you? That will wipe the floor with you. Okay, but don't got this my line, though. <laughs> Yo, if you don't say as I do, if I don't kill it, if you don't do as I say, you won't be able to kill Doma. Do you understand? Then that's will help me. I want to save Sun. Okay. Oh, my God. You can't mention unknown characters. The audience will get confused. Firewood. Don't run. This is an order from God. Get behind me. If you run, we'll shoot. Don't shoot. If you shoot, I'll kill you. That hurt. <laughs> oh, this is about to be lit. Uh, he won't die. It's the burning man. Oh, this is about to be... Oh, my God. That's cut his head. Decapitate him. Don't be afraid. We've got God on our side. Why is he rescuing us? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
this. Oh, he just massacred them, bro. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> that. That. Wow, I forgot what it was like to be fire punched. Oh my god. This is insane. How are we on chapter 20? I feel like there's so like there's so much that happened in 20 chapters. How does he do it? How does Fortune do it? Alright, it's fine. Well, <laughs> good start to, to Fire Punch Week. Um, thanks for watching, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, keep snacking. Come by.